Begin to quiet the breath and let your consciousness just sink more inward as the body relaxes down into the mat, even as you extend the spine up. Allow your heart to shine. Allow the thoughts to begin to quiet and slow down in the mind. Following the path of your breath. And then all together, inhale, let's bring our hands to heart center. And share it in the front of it three times. Take a breath in. Oh. Oh. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Today is the second day of Navratri, where we celebrate the nine avatars of Shakti, also known as Durga. Today, on the second day, the avatar is from. Charini is the goddess who for thousands of years meditated to make herself, I won't say worthy, but to really to, to experience yoga, let's say. And then to marry with Lord Shiva or the fine union with the pure consciousness. Remember, Shakti is energy. The energy is movement. Your consciousness is still. So the Fine Union, she did her, uh, her meditation in Tantra Yoga. The second day of Navratri is related to the second chakra, so that is the head chakra. So when we think about our series and tapas, it's self-discipline, it's coming to your mat every day to give you yoga practice, that is practicing or observing tapas and honoring goddess from Acharya. So that in mind, three times the Durga Mantra. Take a breath in. Om Durga Namaha. Om Durga Namaha. Om Durga Namaha. As you exhale in the eyes, release the posture. Let's come to Tadasana. Today we'll be doing a mixture of asanas that do focus on the energy of the second chakra. But remember that all these asanas, um, although they may have a main focus on a certain chakra, they do work the total body. So come into Tadasana. Nice balancing standing pose. Once you're happy with your position, close the eyes. And just as we did in our seated position, just sort of sink into your inner consciousness right here. Following the path of the breath. As we practice this pose, we find that we can stand forever. Once we understand the correct alignment and relax into the posture, you can focus on the breath, you focus on that inner energy. Thank you, breaths, more here. On your next exhale, go ahead, open your eyes. Do just a nice gentle warm up. Open the hands, inhale, arms up. At the top, look at your hands. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Keep the knees bent. Hold here, forward fold, knees bent, but let's roll the shoulders up and back. Just 
gently, gently creating a little bit of heat in the body as we engage different muscle groups. Drop the head, hold here, four, three, two, one, reverse one head with the head, leg to the back, inhale, rise on the way up. And the top, look at your hands. And the next one, we can put hands to your sides, head comes back to neutral. Nice side bend to the right, inhale, arms up. Hold here, hands together if you can, lower the shoulders up and back. Review your foundation, soften the knees. Root through the palace to the feet as we inhale from the top. And exhale, bend to the right. Hold it here. Remember to bring the shoulder blades towards the spine, down. Hips are squared. Four, three, two, one, in one the center. Keep the hands where they are. Chair pose, exhale, sit to your chair. Hold here. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise up and continue all the way up onto your toes. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Keep your hands where they are. I still see you. You reach the heels down. You're back in your tadasana. Ready for a side bend to the left. Inhale, row tall. And then exhale, side bend to the left. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, the chair. Hold four, three, two, one. Exhale, hands to heart, sit deeper. So we can do a nice spinal twist to the right. Inhale, left elbow to right knee, stack the hands, check your knees. They're so parallel. Stack the hands, lengthen the back. Hold eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, come to center. Left side, inhale, right elbow to the left knee. Check your position, step the hands, lengthen the back. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, right all the way up. Extend the arms, straighten the knees. And then inhale, come up on your toes once more. Find that nice balance point between your toe, little toe, keep the toes up. Keep the tail on top under. Nice long slide, hands in your toe. Drop the shoulders, hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Exhale, release the heels down, bend the knees. Exhale again, swan dive down. You choose how much you want your knees center or not. As you hold this forward fold. In many ways, forward folds, whether you're standing or in seated position, activate and focus on the Swadhana chakra, the second chakra. That chakra is located along the spine, between the tailbone and just right behind your belly button. You can bring your focus there as you breathe in and out of your life. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, reverse slam dive, bend the knees, lift head, inhale, rise all the way up. At the top, lift your hands. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale to chair pose. Chair pose is one of those poses that is related to the second chakra. It takes self discipline. Find this correct alignment and hold. Slow the breath. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, release the hands down to your sides. Balance pose, tree pose is also very much related to the second chakra. So let's do it with our standing leg, the left leg. We're in Tadasana. Really feel rooted down to both feet. Put that focus on the left hip so it doesn't kick out. Shift the weight of the left foot to free up the right toe. And then bring the right foot into position, either above or below your knee. Think about your foundation, back, Hips, once you're there, inhale, arms up overhead, and the top hips together, exhale to your heart. Keep that nice, wrist focal point in front of you to your gaze. Slow the breath, calm breath, calm body. Let's hold. Two and one to come out, extend the arms up high first. As you exhale, open the hands just a little bit, you're a big broad tree, drop the shoulders down. And now, as you exhale, release the hands inside, release the right toe and then the heel down to the so neck. Inhale, both arms up. Bend knees, exhale, swan dive all the way down. Let's do a nice, calming forward fold. Hold here. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, you were swan dive, bend knees, lift head, inhale, rise up, back to the top, hands together. Right side to your heart. Under the mudra, another bouncing position. As you exhale, release the hands down to your sides. Let's do the Virgatana three folds on the opposite side. 
review the foundation of your right leg, and then as you inhale, shift weight, lift the left leg up, place the foot. Renew your foundation when you feel ready. Extend arms up high, hands together, head to hands to heart. Two and one. Inhale, extend arms up high. As you exhale, open them up into a broad tree. Take another breath in. As you exhale, release the hands, release the foot. First, the left toe, then the heel. You're back into that seat. Inhale, arms up. At the top, look at your hands. Exhale, swan back right down to fold forward. From here, let's step back, right foot with lunge. So as you inhale, step all the way back, that right foot, bring the right knee down. Come into your lunge. Hold here. For four. Three. Two. And one. Hamstring stretch. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sit back, keep your hips straight. Nice and straight lengthening position here. Do your best to extend the spine, looking up through the hips. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and come back to lunge. From here, coming into downward facing dog with the left leg as the leg is front, up high in the air. So curl the right toes under. Then as you lift your head, you free up that left foot and swing it all the way behind you and up, coming into three-legged downward facing dog. Hold, four. Three, two, one. As you exhale, come into a regular downward facing dog. Four, four, three, two, one. Looking at your hands, in the center of the right foot forward, coming into a lunge on this side. Four, four, three. Two, one, hamstring stretch, exhale, sit back, square off, extend, four, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Then let's come back to lunch. Downward facing dog, three legs for that left toe under. Inhale, step the right foot back and continue picking it up behind you. Hold. For four. Three, two, one. Exhale, release the right leg down to the left. Looking at your hands, inhale, let's walk those feet forward into a forward fold. Hold here. 
Short of how so four, three, two, one, reverse swan dive, then knees and head, and the helmet is up. At the top, look at your hands. Right up to your heart. Release my hands to your side. Rip out to the feet, pull, left leg is very good. Inhale, shift the weight to the left leg and the right leg up. Raise the right foot. When you're ready, inhale, extend arms up high, hands together. The next one to the left. Hold. Two and one. Inhale, let's send the arms up over top. As you exhale, open them up as you ready to draw three. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release the hands down to your side, release the right shuttle, the right heel, reach down into the back. Inhale, arms up. And the top hands together, as well to your heart. Release the hands to your sides. Feet hold on the right hand side. If you need to go to the right foot, bring the left knee up, place the left foot. Find your balance point and inhale. Arms overhead, hands together. Two and one. Inhale, extend the arms overhead. Exhale, open them up. It's a nice short tree. Take a breath. Then, as you exhale, we leave the hands down to your side. At the same time, we use the left foot, left toe, left heel, for dancing. Inhale, arms up. At the top, we'll put your hands. Exhale, bend knees, swan dive all the way down. Inhale, step the right foot back for a lunge. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. This time, let's come into that low crescent lunge. Keep the balance point on your hands to help you as you curl the right toe under. Inhale with the right knee up. Let's hold here with our hands on that. Once you have your balance point, as you inhale, lift the hands off the mat and each one toe up. Hands are by your sides. Open the palms to the outside. Inhale on top. At the top, exhale to your heart. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. To come out, we know arms up high first. As you exhale, release the hands to the mat either side of that left foot. Coming into that three-legged downward facing dog. Now, if your back leg is too far back, 
Now's the time to just jump it a little bit forward. And then as you inhale and exhale, come right into your downward facing dog. Three legs, left leg is behind us. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, release the left leg to the right. Hold here. Four. Three. Two. And one. Looking at your hands, you must have the right foot forward. Come into a lunge. Hold here. For four. Three. Two. And one. Low crescent lunge. Take that left toe, curl it under. Inhale with the left knee up. Find your balance point here. And then inhale, we release the hands with the toes. Hands are by our sides, open the palms. Inhale, arms up. At the top, hands together. And so to the Hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come up, inhale, arms up overhead. Into an exhale, release them down to the mat, either side of the right foot. Get ready for that three legged downward facing dog. Inhale, scoop the right leg back. Exhale, loop it into your three legged downward facing dog. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One, exhale, release the right leg down to the left. Hold, four, three, two, one. Looking at your hands, inhale, let's walk the feet forward into a forward fold. Hold here. For four, three, two, one, reverse slide. Side, then knees lift head, you know, right up. And the top hands together. Exhale to your heart. Hold here, find your balance point. As you exhale, release the hands. Rikasana, tree fold, left side. Inhale, shift the weight left, we have the right knee. Come into position. When you have your balance, inhale, extend arms up high, hands together, exhale to your foot. Hold here. Two and one. Inhale, extend the arms up high. Exhale, open up into a broad tree. Hold here for a breath. Exhale, release the pose. Toe, heel, hands up by your sides. Inhale, both arms up. At the top, look at your hands, hands together. Exhale to your heart. Hold here. Find this balance point. Exhale, release the hands. Rikasana on the right side. Right leg is your standing leg. Inhale, shift the weight to the right. Bring that left knee up. Place the foot. Find your balance point, then inhale, arms up over the head, hands together, and throw to your heart.
and two, and one. Inhale, extend arms up high. As you exhale, open up into a broad chin. And so release the pose. Inhale, arms up. Looking at your hands. Exhale, bend knees, swan dive down. All the way down to a nice forward fold. Right leg, step back for a very extended pyramid. So really take a big step back. Square off, come into pyramid pose, head to shin. Hold here. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Lift the head up. Let's come into that three legged dog. So as you inhale, you start to scoop the left leg back. As you exhale, you deepen into your three legged downward facing dog. Hold here. Four, three, two, and one, coming into a plank pose, keeping the left leg floating above. You can see on your wrist, I'm gonna come down to my elbows and come down into that plank, floating the left leg up. Hold, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, release the left foot down to your right. Take another breath in and then exhale to downward facing dog. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Looking at your hands, inhale, walk the feet forward to forward fold. Hold, four, three, two, and one. This time, let's step that left foot back for a nice extended Pyramid pose. And then as you exhale, you square off the hips and head to shin. Right leg is in front, left leg behind. Hold here. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Four, three, two, and one. Same thing here. Let's inhale and then exhale right into that downward facing dog on three legs, scooping that right leg behind you. Swirl up the hips. Hold four, three, two. Well, take a breath in, exhale down to plank, hold, four, three, two, one, exhale, release the right foot to move the left, take a breath in, and then exhale, let's come up, the downward facing dog once more, both feet are on the ground, hold, four, three, Two, one, child's pose. Exhale, come into child's pose. Hold here. And let's hold it for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Pushing back into a low squat, lift the hips, throw the toes under and push back, low squat, arms extended, rounded back, cut the chin. 
go here. Counting down eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, sit down and come right into your Navasana boat pose. Knees are bent, palms up next to your shins, shine the heart. This is short count. Four, three, two, one. Let's see if you can grab your big toes or your ankles and extend those knees up. Keep shining the heart. Four. Two, one, open up into a straddle, hold, turn the heart, four, three, two, one, inhale, bring those legs back together, release the hands, bend the knees, bring it back to our starting point, knees are bent, hands are next to the shins, hold, four, three, two, one, Dandasana, extend the arms up high, and as you exhale, just come right into Dandasana. Hold here. Relax the knees, I don't care if they come up. Just feel nicely grounded through the sit bones. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Exhale, we use the hands to your sides. Let's lay down on our back. We'll just do a nice little spiral twist before we come into some seated forward folds. Then the arms out to the side. Make them stand down the mat for practice. Floating the knees over the hips. Take a breath in. Exhale, contract. Feel that tilt. Lower the knees up. Spiral twist to the right. Take a breath in. And exhale, knees fall right, even hold here in stillness. Counting down four, three, two, one. All together, coming to the center, take a breath in. Exhale, come to the center, come to the center. On your next exhale, knees left, you look right. Hold here in stillness. Follow your breath if your mind starts to become too active.
Counting down two and one. Let's come back to center, take a breath in. Excellent contraction. Center. Inhale, hands to knees, exhale, move to child. This is a nice position to mentally find the spinal kind of chakra along the spine, right between the tailbone and behind your navel, that middle place. That's your second chakra, spinal kind of chakra. Okay, as you exhale, let's come into Dandasana, arms extended up high. Hold here, short count four, three, two, one, and it's a release. Coming into Janus Rasatana, left leg is extended, right leg is in position. Janus Rasatana is one of those poses that is specifically uh, focused on the Swadhana Chakra. So remember where you just found it when we were lying on our back. We're in position, hands are on either side of the left knee, roll the shoulders up and back, and let's sit up nice and tall, anchor through those six bones. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let's come down and hold the pose. You stay there, I'm modifying it because of my hip. You stay where you are, hold here. Staying here for 90 seconds, so let's just enjoy, stay nice and quiet. Gently coming back out, lift the head, lengthen the back, and then use the support of your hands. Inhale, rise up. As you come to the top, just hold here. And then take a nice cleansing exhale, and then switch legs. Ideally, our hips are squared off. That's not always possible for everyone. So sometimes you want to open up your right leg to the side or maybe move your, your left hip back or forward if you can't square off. That's fine. All this stuff will come in time. All right, we're in position. What's important is that you're sitting on your sits bones so that you can hinge at the hip and come forward with an extended spine. You want to lift, extend, and then expand the heart as we go down. Hands are on either side of the right knee. Roll the shoulders up and back. Sit up tall. Take a breath in. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Let's hold here for 90 seconds. Being as still and quiet as we can in body, breath, and mental activity.
Slowly and controlled to come out. Lift the head first. See if you can lengthen, extend the spine a little bit more. Use the top of your hands and inhale, rise up. Sit here. Just quietly let the body all come back to its place of equilibrium. Exhale, release. Just extend the left leg in front of us. And then see if you can do this variation of Janus or Satana. Instead of your foot coming on the inside of your left thigh with the right knee pointing out, bring that right foot behind you next to your hip and your right knee is pointing forward. Now, if this isn't possible for you, you can also have that right knee a little outward. It's, it's like a hurdle position, okay? But ideally, the right knee is pointing forward. This can be a little harsh on the hip. And for me, it, it's, it's a challenge on my ankle. All right, it's a really, really nice um, <clears throat> variation. What we're trying to do here though, is anchor through both sit bones. So if you need to open up that right knee a little bit so that you're sitting equally on your buttocks, go ahead. All right, same thing here, 90 seconds. Hands on either side of the left knee. Roll the shoulders up and back, sit up tall. Take a breath in and walk the hands forward. And then stay here for 90 seconds. And slowly in control, coming out with the head so you can lengthen a little further, and then inhale, rise up. Okay, here, close your eyes. Kind of let yourself sink back into your nice squared off hips. Feel both buttocks as they say, relax into the mat. And then exhale, open the eyes, let's switch. Feel that you're nicely anchored on both buttocks. Sit up tall, hands on either side of that right knee. Trying the heart here. Lift, extend, expand. Take a breath in. As you exhale, walk your fingers forward. Come down, then slow this.
And in control, coming out with the head so you can lengthen a little bit more, hinge out of the hips, then inhale, rise up. Let's bring both legs together. Just shake it out a little bit. Come back into your Dandasana. Fingers pointing forward in line at the hips. Draw the shoulders up and back. Extend out of the spine. Hold here for three. Two, one, as you exhale, simply curl the back down to the mat. Lay it on the mat, bend both knees, plant the feet behind your butt. Sometimes forward folds, we don't always feel the, the issue in the hamstring for the back of the leg. We feel it in our back, the lower back, right between the navel and the tie bone. So what is on your chart? So let's just give a nice little um, knees to chest move. Go ahead, knees to chest, roll from side to side. Do a nice little massage there to the lower back. Release any tension or overstretching you might have done. Experience. All together, come to center. Keeping your knees bent as you exhale, simply plant the feet behind your butt on the mat. As wide as your mat, distance the feet, extend the arms out to the sides, tongue rest up. Simply ease the spinal twist here. Take a breath in. If you exhale, let the knees fall to the right. For some of you, your knees will be on the ground. For others, like me, they're kind of still hanging out in the air. But I feel a gentle pressure to pull that low in this in the spinal tip. Let's hold. Happy down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And all together, take a breath in. Exhale, contract. So let's slow the knees to center. Stay here for one breath. And then exhale, let the knees flow to the left and look right. And counting down from eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All together, we break in. Exhale, compare it to the center. Now, if you feel good to come into Tabasana, go ahead and stand one leg in the other. And bring your hands into position. If you need to do another spinal twist, go ahead. Well, I'll meet in Savasana.
Uh, today is one of those days where I just want to stay in Savasana. But if you're ready to go for deeper time constraints, let's come out of our Savasana together. Bring the hands low to the belly. Start switching your focus now from being very inward into your own consciousness. Consciously being conscious of our consciousness, as our teachers would say to us. And now let's be conscious of just physical movement of breath. And then expand that focus to the movement of toes and ankles. Mindfully bring the focus to your hands and fingers, wrists, knees and hips, elbows and shoulders. Body, belly. And then head roll from side to side. And then all together, rolling to our right hand side. And with the use of your hands as you exhale, let's push up. Find once more that tonight is comfortable to the foundation. Bringing our hands in the chin mudra. As you come into position, close the eyes. Again, use the method of tracking your breath to slow down the breath and slow down the mental activities. Coming to that quiet place once more. All together, inhale, bring hands to heart center. Share the pranava one time. Take a breath in. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Exhale, bowing down to the teacher within. And then inhale, coming up. Let's open our eyes back to full awareness. Namaste. Thanks for joining, Jazz. Have a good day.